Indian Dalit girl um, sexually assaulted to death, body forcefully cremated by the police. Hashtag Dalit Lives Matter. Um, a 17-year-old Dalit girl was ard to death in her landlord's house where she worked as a maid. The girl had been working in the landlord's house and experiencing uh, mental and physical abuse and she was forced to sleep in the driver's room and was restrained and threatened by the landlady when she tried to inform her relatives. She was found um, sexually assaulted by the landlord's son and driver and hanged in the driver's room. Later, the police removed the body and did not inform the family. About 12 relatives of the girl assembled at the landlord's home searching for the body and were taken into police custody and beaten. The next morning, the police sent the body for autopsy. They allowed the family members to view the body for around five minutes, which was later forcefully cremated in the presence of 300 police officers. Um... All right, so how, do we know this was because it had any, you know, how do we know that this is, like, this is, when the people are accusing it, that uh, accusing that this was, because this, we had a news like this just recently. Is this a repeat of exactly that? Uh, or yes. Or is it just, yeah. Yes. So this is like a reoccurring event, hey? So it's the same thing, just a different victim, same style of murder and okay not exactly the same style of murder the other girl in hathras um uh M M mincha M mincha um she was actually i don't even know if i want to get into the details it's really disgusting what they did to her body um but something different um, but the theme is, you know, upper caste family perpetrating this crime. The police forcefully cremate the body too quickly to conduct a proper investigation. And they don't allow people to see the body. And then they basically destroy the evidence against the wishes of the family. But they did an autopsy in this one, so have they come have do they have any evidence from that autopsy that they um, released? What was disclosed in the article was yeah, like asphyxiation. She was hanged. So that's it though. Like they didn't do like forensics or or that we know of. That I know they, of. What's the rush to get rid of the body just to sort of close the case and wash their hands of it? Because this is a common theme that we've heard that the police are forcefully cremating these bodies. And sometimes the families, I think in the other one, the family didn't even know or couldn't even see her. This one, it, they saw her, but, and then they arrested the family. I mean, so, I mean, is the rush to cremate the body just to sort of shove it on, okay, you know, to give the a se semblance of having done something to, you know, find out the perpetrators and then just sort of shove it under the rug. I mean, that's what it certainly appears like. That's what it looks like to me. too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course I'm not there. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand Hindi, so I can't read, you know, like primary news as easily. Right. Um, but this is obvious this is a continuing theme um that the crimes that happen to dalits specifically young dalit women are not taken seriously and um it seems like a effort to protect and shield the upper caste families from justice for what they did to this girl she was 17 um it's brutal and it keeps happening how is this like so such a like a, such a deja vu it's like a mirror like also almost a mirror image of the previous story that we have had mm -hmm. this can't be a coincidence like this i mean do we know if this has been happening more than the ones that we've seen like it seems Certainly. like such a coincidence hmm yeah there's no question 
Well, I mean, you know, I should be more skeptical, right? But this is certainly not, I mean, so because we've gotten a larger audience in India recently, I get dozens of people sending me Indian news like every day. A lot of them have to do with um, gang sexual assaults and sexual assaults of lower caste women. I get so much news just around that theme that I can't even cover all of it. I can't even select all of it to be covered because it's constant, right? I wanted to highlight this one specifically because um, Katie Rin is correcting me saying it's Manisha. Manisha is the girl who was murdered in Hofros. Um, it's, it's so similar. And there was a nationwide outrage over that's what happened to Manisha. Right. And like what, two and a half weeks later, it's the same thing. You know, um, it seems like there's been nationwide outrage over a plethora. I hate to ha use this word, but a plethora of our incidences that continually happen. And it seems like before anything can even be somewhat even brought to the forefront on the case, then another one happens. And that just gets, you know, pushed behind and pushed behind. I mean, I don't want to be... Um, generalizing but it you know it's like they're the rape capital of the world or something i mean it's really horrific be careful with the r word oh the r capital of the world Today. of course mm -hmm. i'm not you know not all but it just this is a continual theme apparently it's constant yeah and so um when people send me news that i cover i often ask them for like a little bit of their commentary on it or more context, you know, because they're locals. So one person was telling me about this case. Um, it's very similar to what happened to Manisha in Hothras. Um, also like what's happening in Hothras, which basically um, became like militarized by the police in an effort to cover up the story. Um, journalists have been aggressively stopped from inquiring about the incident. So what happened in Hoff, they basically shut down the whole village trying to prevent journalists from getting in to the point that there's this one famous um, female journalist, I forget her name, but she showed a video of her literally going through the fields to try to get into the village on the back end away from the police. Um, so it's, um, it's, it's, it's um, like an epidemic. It's, um, and I wanted to continue to highlight how um, consistent this problem is. Um, yeah. It's like a metastasized cancer. Yes. You know, like, so there's this issue that's just horrendous, like a, you know, cancer, and it just keeps metastasizing again and again. And, and because it's not being treated, so to speak, if we're going to go on this medical metaphor. Completely. Um, Armin, do you have any commentary? Uh, no, for people on YouTube who are saying we're buffering, um, this seems to be a more of a YouTube thing. Link, I'm not sure. I think we're better. Actually, I, should, I, think, I think it's fixed now. Is it fixed now? I, sorry, this is a YouTube th thing. Uh, we do have a Twitch also. It seems like we're better on Twitch right now. But again, sorry, this is, seems to be a YouTube thing. Uh, link to our Twitch is in the description if you want to try that. Uh, but I think we're okay now. Are we okay now? Yeah, we're okay now. Yes, we're, the software is working completely well on our end. So that was a um, YouTube thing. But any, anyways, anytime you see on Facebook or on YouTube that, we're, um, that YouTube is like, or Facebook is like not playing nice, try our Twitch. Um, and actually, that's a good way to promote. Oh, yeah, people are saying, yeah, it's getting stable. Okay. Yeah, but again, um, have Twitch as a backup in case you don't like the buffering on YouTube. Okay. Anyways, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back. Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not 
telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritized what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 